you may have noticed that it seems like everyone is starting a garden and I encourage you to start it. Today I'm going to give you four reasons why not only is gardening good for your health in terms of the vegetables that you're getting out of it, but these four reasons are other ways in which a garden is really positive for your overall health and well-being. And if you stay to the end, I'll give you a bonus fifth reason why. If this is your first time here, give this video a thumbs up. I'm Rachel Stravelli. I'm an expert garden teacher. I'm an inner wisdom coach. I connect with people to help them connect to their own inner wisdom. I have gardening courses, ones that are free that you can get below and one that is not free. That's a fabulous two hour gardening course to get you started. All of those are linked below. If this is your first time here, welcome. Let's go ahead and dive into the four reasons why gardening is so positive. So reason number one that I want to share with you, and this is going to make you very excited given the current climate of concern about viruses and our immune systems. Soil bacteria and the other microorganisms in the soil are really beneficial for us in our body. They help us build a strong immune system. It's been shown that children who grow up with a lot of exposure to farm animals and or even just dogs have better immune systems and don't get sick as often as children who don't. And this carries over on into adulthood. So when you are out in your garden and digging, planting, harvesting, inevitably at some point you're getting some soil on your fingers. You're breathing in some of what's there. And some of that bacteria gets in your body, it gets in your gut biome, and it helps to support your immune system. And you may or may not know, but actually there's a good percentage of our body that's not human, it's the bacteria, and we need that bacteria. It lives on us, but it works for us to keep us healthy and alive. Reason number two, this is another type of soil bacteria that I'm super excited to tell you about, actinomycetes. That's the name of a, a certain variety of soil bacteria. And studies have shown that breathing in actinomycetes actually has similar effects as antidepressants. Now, I know that might seem crazy in that if you've never heard of this before, you're like, whoa, 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 soil bacteria, antidepressants. But it's true. The actinomycetes, they're actually also what gives soil the smell of soil. So that smell that you associate with earth, fresh earth, is the smell of actinomycetes. And they don't know all the reasons why, but those are linked to positive mood. Also, again, with positive gut biome, which there's a link between our mental health and gut biome health. So that's the second reason. The third reason, if you can get involved with a community garden or even just somehow get involved with other gardeners in a community, you start connecting with people in a new way. You bond over this new hobby. If you're gonna do organic gardening, which I highly recommend, and I have an organic gardening course that I'll link below if you'd like to sign up for the course, Organic gardening is so good for your health. However, if you've never done it before, there can be a little bit of a learning curve. And there, there's information that you have to learn, methods you have to try out. And so when you connect with other people around this hobby that's a positive hobby, you can troubleshoot with other people. You share what you've learned. You can exchange your produce. If you're growing basil and your neighbor or someone else in your community garden is growing tomatoes and you each have a surplus, you can swap. You can each make pizza. You can make a salad. It's so wonderful to be able to engage with others and have this great connection about gardening together. And um, this one is actually supported by, I don't know if they're official studies, but anecdotal studies showing that at certain places in the world, researchers experimented with taking people who were depressed and having them join community gardens, and it showed that their well-being and their mental health improved dramatically. All right, the fourth reason is it's a really incredible way to bond with your family. If you have small children or older people in your family, it's a great way to get out there 
if you want to do the homeschooling learning approach, you can talk about science, you can talk about math, you can bring in so many other subjects, or it can be a really fun way for you to engage in your family outside. You can support healthy eating habits because you're growing the food. Children are much more likely to eat vegetables that they have planted and tended to and grown. Now they might not eat them all the time, but they're much more willing to try it out if they have grown it in the garden. And this is the bonus that I mentioned in the beginning or that I should have mentioned in the beginning. The fifth bonus reason, when you are growing your own food, you're getting the highest nutritional value and more healthy food because it didn't have to travel across the state, across the country. It wasn't picked 10 days ago, five days ago, 30 days ago. You typically pick it and eat it the same day or eat it within a day or two. And the fruits and vegetables that you pick, when you pick them fresh, all the nutrients are freshly there. All the vitamins are right there. Whereas over time, the quality of the fruit or the vegetable degrades and some of those vitamins and minerals are lost. But if you get it right away, you're getting it the freshest that it can be and it's got the most nutrients that you're gonna have in it. All right, I'm so excited to hear about your garden. Tell me below, which one of these made you think, oh, I need to start a garden or get involved in a garden? And again, um, give this video a thumbs up. I'd love if you'd click the subscribe button and there's a little notification bell. It'll tell you when my new videos come out. They come out every Friday. But this way, if you get hit the notification, then you'll be sure to get alerted when a new video goes live. All right. Take care.